I wouldn't go so low or condescending to say that, like, oh, there's nothing progressive about the South. I think there's something very limited in what we get exposed to, uh, which, of course, makes the Little Brother story even more endearing. I was born in Northern Virginia, Alexandria to be exact. My dad uh, built our house outside of Winston-Salem in a town called Midway. I grew up in a small town in rural North Carolina uh, called Red Springs. Then I moved to Greensboro. I knew um, I wanted to go to a black college. A deacon from my church that I went to He's like, you ever heard of North Carolina Central and Durham, North Carolina? I said, I've never heard of Durham, North Carolina. We were moving into the dorm, and Ninth was, he had a source magazine under my arm, and uh, some dude said, yo, man, let me see that. You know, at that time, like, if you saw somebody with a source mag, it was like a Jedi meeting another Jedi. It's just like, you, you see this person, and they realize the same thing. Like, y'all like, oh, you know about that. Oh, shit, oh, okay. The first time I met Pooh was in the cafeteria at, uh, at North Carolina Central. I met Tay, um, I was in the RA room. Joe, I can't remember his last name, uh, it's escaping me right now. We call him Joe Drama. Joe was just, he would just have cats in his room. We'd just be in there freestyling, and playing instrumentals or whatever. And so I went to his room one night and Pooh came through there. It was my very first time like meeting him. Pooh was not the best freestyler, but he would just say like just funny shit, like he would just, <laughs> it was just some of the lines he would say. I'd be like, yo, this nigga, he really don't give a fuck. He kicked a rhyme and it was this joint called No Apologies. Like, I'll never forget, he kicked a rhyme and I was like, whoa, you did that for English class? Yo, WJLR, Justice League Radio, good morning. The, the conscious decision to form Little Brother, that came because um, by this point in time, we had all kind of come together under the Justice League. Okay, the Justice League. Okay. 15 members. You ready? Yep. Go. Big Doe. John Don. Yo Rail. DJ Flash. Eccentric. Big Pooh. Median. <laughs> Legacy. <laughs> Great Dr. Mansion. <laughs> Egg Allen Flo. Senator Yo Rail. <laughs> I said it. Oh, you said him? I said Yo Rail. You said eccentric? I said eccentric. Oh, man, okay. Well, what am I missing? <laughs> Oh, uh, Sean, Sean Boog. Oh, Sean Boog. Crisis. Yeah. Where are we? <laughs> How does one get voted in? I want to say me and Flash were the last ones to get voted in, so you got to ask the elders how that process went. <laughs> the funny thing still is we never asked anybody did they want to be part of the Justice League. Is he in? Is he in? Great. And then the league was there and yeah. we just started to make <laughs> so much music there. Yeah. We were gonna do a record one night called Speed, and it was originally, it was supposed to be me and Median over, uh, over a knife track. Median never shows up. And so Pooh's with me, and we just like, all right, well shit, well, I mean, me and Pooh can rock it, all right, fuck it, let's do it. Push your 80 miles an hour to this call center, trying to pick up a check, I only see 20% of. When we finished that song, we just knew, we were just like, yo, we got something. And I'm listening to it, and I'm like, man, this this sounds like something. Like it was just it just felt right. And so, from that point on, that was that was the birth of Little Brother. We got a couple songs. We have a name. We decided we're going to work on the album. So much of that record was just done by just it was just a small community of people. Yo, Rail, he was part of Justice League. We started recording in his dorm room in North Hall. I'll never forget. We would go up, his roommate would be gone, and we'd just record, 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 and then it went from his dorm room to Cesar Comanche's apartment. Differences between the studio back in like 2002 and now in 2019, it's not really that different. There was nothing beautiful about this studio except the music. Ninth would do sessions for like, you know, just other cats around the area. And they would just come in and like not have nothing. Then when they, the shit wouldn't be good, you know, they'd be like, yo, come on, P, like make me hot. P, I don't know how to write 16 Just make me hot. P. 
Fonte is really brilliant at this. He will take studio jokes and transform them. One of them is the straight man and the other one is dynamic. I was the chisel, Pooh was the sledgehammer. Neither one of them can tell their story better than each other. When you hear them together, it sounds right. Little brother, y'all got a distinct sound, man. I'm talking about y'all in the dirty south, man. How y'all get love down here, man? Everybody, you know, everybody on that bounce, that crump and all that. Y'all on a whole nother level, man. We may have sounded like that when we talked. We may have looked like that when we dressed a little bit. But as far as what we sounded like, we didn't sound like quote unquote Southern rap. Everybody was trying to do no samples or it was like South stuff or it had to be some extra gangster shit. But at the time, you know, that's, that's not what we wanted to hear. We came up with the approach of making what we want to hear. And then on top of that, finding different avenues to, to uh, release this music. There was always buzz of Little Brother on the OK Player website. Um, a kind of community-based website that was started out as the Roots site and then just got coup d'etat and taken over by uh, a nation <laughs> of, uh, of like-minded people. TV wasn't holding it down, radio wasn't holding it down, so there's this new thing on the internet called message boards. <laughs> and, you know, the OK Player message board is kind of where everybody sought refuge to find the music that they love. I was in my dressing room eating dinner and I was staring at it and it just said little brother and then it just hit me. I said, yo, who would name themselves after one of my favorite Dilla productions of all time? I was like, yo, that takes some balls to name yourself after, even though I know later that they didn't name themselves Little Brother after a Jay Dilla song. But that was enough to make me like, yeah, he'll probably ask me on the boards what I thought about it, and I don't want to like bullshit him. All right, let me listen to this. And I put it in. I kept listening to it all night, and I kept it, I kept it on... Rotate, like even when I'm in my sleep, I didn't turn down the vibe. For Pete, Brock, Questlove, DJ Premier, like for those guys to like co-sign us, it was like this perfect storm of just music nerds <laughs> and people that were just insatiable for the kind of stuff that we were making um, and just other cats in our vein. And so, yeah, it was, I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just took off. It was just weird watching them go through that transition and wondering, like, will they successfully navigate themselves through the landmine that a lot of the previous generation could barely get through themselves? I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. Does Little Brother even stand a fucking chance in today's current rap climate? That's disgusting. We just regular rap dudes who, because we don't rap about guns and crack and shooting and shit, niggas want to call that backpack music, but that's just regular real life, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's more niggas working regular jobs than it is people. I feel like we were being who we were, right? But, you know, the TV said something else and the radio said something else. So. You know, we from North Carolina, man. It's just, it's, we got some, you know, everybody can relate to a little brother song, man. You know what I'm saying? Whether you, you crunk all day or you a thug all day or you, you know what I'm saying, go, go plant flowers all day. You know what I'm saying? You, can, you can relate to a little brother song, man. You know, North Carolina was the fourth member of Little Brother, you know. It was, I don't think it could have happened anywhere else. Streets we're talking about, places we're talking about, North Carolina. So when people come to Durham, North Carolina, they're looking like, oh, that's what they were talking about in the record. There was just no pretense there. Like, you know, we were just really talking about our lives. And, you know, when we, when we made Speed, I mean, that was, I mean, that was my life. That album gave Durham a sound. Just with the collective of Tapu and Ninth on that listening album, is, that's it. You look in the dictionary, you need North Carolina hip hop, it's the listen. Playing it, listen for punchlines, delivery and cadences, but nowadays it's like niggas wanna play with it. They hear some good shit, but don't stop to savor it. 
The significance of calling the album The Listening was that we really wanted to make a document. Like we looked at it like, like an event, you know what I'm saying? And not just for our record, but just in, in general. Like if you went to a store and you bought an album, you went back to your home or to your car and you sat down for the listening, where you know you would sit down, you listen to the music, you read the lyrics, you read the credits, you know what I mean? That was something that was it, was, it was a ritual, you know? So the listening kind of refers to that in a way, just a ritual of how you consume music and how to consume art. Bam! The future of hip-hop music. WJLR, Justice League Radio, on your FM dial, what's going on? It's yours truly, Tigalo the Rap Gigolo, holding it down on the graveyard shift. Straight three to six action for all y'all. Midnight maneuverers and marauders and all that. Probably I'm creeping on you, girl. I need to cut that out. But yo, just keep it locked. I'm about to bounce. Stay tuned. Coming up next, my man Sean Don the Back Twister. Holding it down for the morning drive. Holding it down for y'all morning madness style. So yo, just keep in touch. Stay up. Peace. Keep listening to WJLR. We represent the real and not the fake. Peace.